Hi, this is D. Divine L. Hmm. Wanted to show you the cards from yesterday. Pulled them out of the box. Earlier in the past video, I just pulled up my last video where I uploaded that so I could show you guys. Pulled the cards out of the box because I always stack them back up. Put them on the bottom of the pile. Put them in the box. So they're exactly as they were last night. Ah, some more interesting things that I noticed after I uploaded the last video. A whole lot more. Let me, allow me to take you on that journey. You know that song from Muse, Follow Me. Listen to the words. Yeah, listen to the words. So, anyway, um... This was yesterday's reading for today. I did this reading last night. Oh, interesting. I'm looking at the clock and it says 111. <laughs> Remember what they said in the codes, don't fear the 11s. It's interesting because I also got, Nell got 1111 today and I got 1011 today. Fascinating. Don't fear the 11s. There's some more things um, that I wanted to point out to you about this reading yesterday. First of all, this card. The arrow. The bow and arrow. Artemis. The great huntress. Carried a bow and arrow. She is another name of the goddess. Notice it's pointing at that cup. That was them indicating to me to uncover and reveal the truth about that symbol on the back of my neck. Birthmark, discoloration, what have you. That was there telling me it's time to tell you Interesting that on that arrow it says Law of Providence. Yeah. I hope you visit the reading where I did the actual reading on these cards. Because it'll help fill in some gaps, possibly. wanted to show you that. Take a good look at that card. Look at the, the number, the key. This is a major arcana card. Key six. Key six. The rogue, when a bit of roguish behavior is in order. <laughs> this is where Loki cuts off Sif's hair. A bit of roguish behavior. Notice the moon, the crescent here. Another symbol of the goddess. Remember I showed you in the last video, Aquarius. Symbol of Aquarius. Also notice that this is the seven card. This card that came out in that reading. Key 10, Major Arcana. Wheel of Life. The Sphinx. Destiny turning. Remember I talked about this being reminiscent of the Mayan calendar. And remember the code talked about the Sphinx. 
they were pointed to this card. Look at the number, 10. Another major arcana, key 17, the healer, also known as the star card. This is the card of Aquarius. See the Aquarius symbol here. Notice how it borders the wheel of destiny. Key number 17. Six. Add the seven to the ten, you get a seventeen. Reduces to a six. Again, the repeat of the number seventeen on the healer card once again reduces to a six. Six, six, six. They tell, they tell you that's the number of Lucifer. That's because that's true. But what they told you about Lucifer is nothing but lies. Nothing but. The star card. See how those cups are pouring out? Those cups are about hope and faith. Gifts of the Spirit. A gift I hope I can bestow to you. Your freedom, your emancipation. Some other interesting things. <clears throat> I was sitting here looking at the cards and setting this up. The picture on the bottom of the box is the goddess, Archangel of Mysteries. She who has secrets. She plans to share those secrets with you. Archangel of Mysteries. Inside the box, separate odd a day. Dare to know. With the dove. The creator of this deck was divinely guided to design this deck so that it would land in my hands. It's destiny. Strangely enough, she's not fully awake, but awake enough that she got the guidance to make this deck. I applaud you, Benabel Wynn. Very, very well done. You succeeded in your great work so that I could do my great work. These cards are astonishingly beautiful. Astonishingly so. Symbolism all over it. She specialized in seeking certain knowledge that gave her the ability to create. She became a creator and created this deck. She manifested it. With the guidance of some help from upstairs. <laughs> yeah. 
her signature. Dio Dar is the name of this deck. These are not numbered decks. These are named with angel names, interestingly enough. Dio Dar. D. And my old last in initials here. D A R. Coincidence? I don't think so. This very deck with that very name was meant to be in my hands. Let me show you something else. <clears throat> On what would be considered pulling from the top of the deck, Ten of Chalices. The Joyous One. <laughs> yep, that is true. Because I feel nothing but joy today. The entire planet should be celebrating today and tomorrow. Rest of the year, for that matter. Rest of the next thousands and thousands of years. Because my joy is that we're going to be carrying out our destiny and releasing all of you from slavery. It is your emancipation. Let me show you something else. The bottoms of decks always tell a story. <clears throat> Remember, the dynasty. Was right below. The end of the past di dynasty. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the beginning of the age of Aquarius, a new dynasty. I was watching a tarot reading. Put these upside down because I want to keep them in order. I was watching a tarot reading, a couple of them yesterday. One was done by San Tarot. And she said, you're the dark horse. Yes, I am. I am the dark horse. <laughs> the next card the sharpshooter. This is Artemis. Eight of Scepters. This is the Sagittarius card. I am a Sagittarius rising. I am the sharpshooter. This card indicates fast moving energy. That's exactly what happened when I posted that video this morning. That's exactly what I'm doing. Because I am the seeker, I am the rose. Remember, this was in the cards, or in the um, code 620, Operation Rose. Yep, Operation Rose, indeed, the Seeker. And the story goes on. The Shining Winds. This is the Knight of Swords, a swirling gale. This is moving forward in truth and clarity. That's exactly what I did this morning, and that's what I continue to do now. Because I'm leading you on a path. 
Please follow me. Next card, right below that. Like I said, the bottoms of tarot decks tell a story. And after this, these cards were laid out, this was the order of the cards at the bottom after the shuffle. Eight, the Force. This is also known as the Strength card. Just so happens that the female pictured there is the goddess. She tamed a lion with compassion and love. So she overcame a beast with compassion and love. And of course the infinity symbols there. This is the card of Leo. The reason Zeus married her was because she was able to tame the beast with love and compassion. Just read the stories about Zeus and his wife. That's Gabriel, just in case you don't know. The Initiate, Spirit in Search of Experience. Notice the rose in the middle. Something that Nell pointed out to me. Turn it upside down. And the symbol on the back of my neck is right here. Not once, but twice. Notice the wheel. I was listening in between the first video today and this one to that song, Journey, Wheel in the Sky. Wheel in the Sky. Wheel in the Sky. Destiny. Next card. Sacred Fire, The Awakening. Yep. That's true. You all are awakening, and so am I. Very next card out, The Holy Sea. Master of the Arcanes. This also happens to be the Taurus card. The L I married, Nell, Husky Nell, Marianne. He's a Taurus. He's the bull of heaven. He was gifted to me once before, and he was gifted to me yet again. And the Empress. <laughs> Gloria Mundi, Arania's Gate. I've always been particularly fond of dragonflies. They're one of my spirit animals, along with the doe. The doe? and then dragonfly. And it goes on to tell more of a story. Aquarius, the Magus, the Magician. Big story there in those cards. 
hope you're following along. There may be more in that than I even realize based on numerology and the numbers. But that reading yesterday, 6, 6, 6. Say that's the number of the beast. Well, it's the number of man. It's also the number of Inanna. It's also... Not a, not a number you're supposed to fear, like they've been teaching you. Everything down here is inverted. Everything down here is a lie, or nearly all of it. There's not many places you're going to get correct information. But I'm going to do my damnedest to bring it to you. I have more to show you on that code 620 and something else that happened um, while I was doing the video. So I'm going to do another video to show you some things I missed. You know, I don't know if you've seen the movie Lucy where she basically plugs into the AI. It's interesting, because that's kind of what I'm doing. Lucy. Hmm. Anyway, I wanted to share that with you. You need to dare to know. I love you. More to come.